let's say that we have the following parametric equations. We'll write x of t being equal to e to the t plus 1. And we can say that y, y of t, is equal to e to the 2t. So these are parametric equations. And what that means is that we have two variables, x and y, right here, where their values are expressed in terms of another variable. And in this case, that other variable is the variable t. And we have to input a variable t, and that'll give us values of x and y out. And when we talk about eliminating the parameter, what that means is essentially rearranging these um, equations, these x and y equations, so that we get rid of t entirely, and it's no longer there. And we can just have an equation where we have some variable y in terms of x. So we have y as a function of x, and then that's just our typical equation, y equals, and then there's some um, arrangement of numbers and variables on the right-hand side where you have an x variable. And how do we go about doing this? How do we eliminate that variable t? Well, we have to rearrange these equations, and we have to do that so that we can make some sort of substitution into one of the other equations. And to do that, the first thing we can do is kind of make a simplification in our y equation here. And you'll quickly start to see how we can make that substitution to eliminate t. So let's do this here. In our y of t equation, let's set this equal to something else, something that's a little bit easier, um, a little bit easier of a way to look at this e to the 2t. So this is also equal to e to the t power squared. Because if you multiply this squared, the 2 and the exponent right there, times the t, you'll get e to the 2t. So these are equivalent um, right here. These are two expressions, e to the 2t and e to the t power squared are the same thing. And this helps us kind of analyze what kind of substitution we can make here. Because if we look at our x equation, and we bring this down here, we can rearrange this and say that if we write this as just x, we'll get rid of the e x of t. We can just say x equals e to the t plus 1. And now why don't we rearrange this, bring this 1 over to the left-hand side. We can say that we have x minus 1 equals e to the t. And now look at this. We can take this expression and bring it right back up here and plug it in for e to the t. And then what does that do for us? Oh, look, the e to the t is gone. We just have y in terms of x like we wanted. Okay, so let's go about that there. Um, just make a little bit of room here, clean this up. So we have our expression on the bottom that we want to plug in. And so this is our equation that will help us make our substitution. And so what we're going to do is we're just going to take y. And now we can even say y of x, just to make this clear here that we no longer have t involved. y of x is going to equal, we're just plugging in this expression on the bottom, e to the t equals x minus 1. It's going to equal x minus 1 squared. And that's pretty much it. We have our equation, y in terms of x, and we've completely eliminated the parameter t. Let's try a second example with a new set of parametric equations. Let's say we have x of t being equal to e to the t, and y of t being equal to 2e to the negative 3t. And let's again eliminate this parameter t within our equations. So just starting off, when we look at the x of t equals e to the t equation, there's not much simplification we can do here. In fact, there's actually no simplifications we can make there. So let's just move on to the y equation and see if we can simplify this at all to see any possible substitution that can be made that may help us out. So we have a negative exponent, and so that's what we can simplify. Um, we know that this e to the negative 3t term, this right here, will just simplify to 1 over e to the 3t. And then we, of course, have to add the 2 onto the side there. So let's write a new expression off to the right. This is equal to 2 over e to the 3t. And so now this exponent becomes positive. Um, and it's no longer negative, so it's nicer to look at. But we can simplify this once more. And it's similar to the last example. We can simplify this 
3t term in the exponent by doing 2 over e to the t power cubed. And again, like we talked about um, last time, where we had e to the 2t in the last example, um, now we just raise e to the t to the third power, and it's equal. And so now you probably see the substitution we can make. We have x equals e to the t as our first parametric equation. And now we can just plug in x for e to the t. So our new equation with y in terms of x will be y of x equals 2 over x cubed. Again, this equation is just substituting right in there. x is equal to e to the t, so we can just plug it in and we'll have x cubed. And there is our new equation, y in terms of x with the parameter t eliminated. All right, how about we conquer one more example here and we'll change it up a little bit from the exponentials. Um, let's say we have x of t being equal to 3t minus 2 and y of t being equal to t plus 1. So now we don't have any more exponentials. Um, we're just working with linear equations now. And when you have the linear equations, you just have to make a substitution um, for the variable t. So in one of the equations, we need to just rearrange it and solve for t and then substitute that value of t into the other equation. And we'll have an expression with y in terms of x. So I'm going to solve for t from the x equation and just bring this down here. And we'll have x equals 3t minus 2. Let's solve for t now. We can do x plus 2 equals 3t. Divide by 3 on both sides. t equals x plus 2 over 3. All right. So now we have our value of t. And to get our equation with y in terms of x, we just have to substitute this t value right into that equation, and we'll have our answer. Okay, so now we could just do y is equal to, and we'll do our y of x notation actually, y is equal to, plugging in x plus 2 over 3 for t, and then just adding plus 1. And there, right there, is our expression with the parameter t completely eliminated and just y and x variables. And that's all for this video. Thanks for watching.